Hello, I'm Single Minded Ryan. In this video, I'm going to show you three things I did to improve my winter scene with Isbrad and Godot. This effect is essential for the winter scene and is very easy to achieve with the GPU Particles 2D node. First, let's create a GPU Particles 2D node. Let's create a new particle process material. Set amount to 200. Set the emission shape to box. And set the X extent to 500. Let's move the node to the top of the screen. Set lifetime to 10 and preprocess to 30. Next, let's set skill max to 4 so the flakes are different in size. We also want some flakes to be transparent. We can do it by adding a gradient map to color initial ramp. Then let's tweak the alpha curve so the flakes fade out eventually. Let's set the x value of gravity to 45 so the particles flow to the right. The last thing to do is to enable turbulence and slightly tweak the settings to get the natural movement. All right, we are all done here. By the way, the wind trail effect and the swaying tree shader are from my other videos. I'll leave the links in the comment in case you are interested. The core of the VFX is the animation sequence and a demo how to make it in Aceprite. But of course, you can use any tool you like to create the pixel art and I'll focus more on the general technique. Before we get started, I want to briefly mention that I had just finished my new 2D Godot course. In this course, I'll show you how to make a 2D Godot game from scratch with high quality game assets. Please check out the coupon link in the comment below if you're interested. First, I'll draw the contour of the fire. Just keep in mind that the shape should follow the upward spiral movement and the end frame to link to the star frame to make the animation loop. When I feel good with the contour, I'll start to fill it with color and also update the shape a little bit here and there to make the animation smoother. All right, I think the animation is ready, so let's move to Godot. Let's add an animation sprite 2D node and set up the animation. Let's set the frame rate to 12 and enable the autoplay on load option. I sketched the rough structure of the building beforehand 
and let's get started. Alright, I'm finishing up by adding some snow, and then let's jump into Godot. I'll drag in the snow particles I created before, and then use the point line 2D node to light up the building. <laughs> 